So let's go ahead and show you uh, the real power of magic draw with tables and matrices. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, the containment tree is kind of cluttered here with all of this um, this junk, you know, all these elements. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just make a package for use case elements. I'm just going to drag all this stuff in there. So click and drag is your friend. It says there's relations that are there. Should we move them? I always move the relationships. We'll just go ahead and do that. And so there you have it. Uh, we've gone ahead and created um, the use case elements package. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a table here. So this is where Magic Draw really shines. So we're going to create a generic table, and we'll call it use case elements. And I'm going to scope it with that package so I've told it where to look and now it needs to know what to display. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drag all of these things in here to set the types, though I could also pick them manually. And this now shows me everything that I have uh, in there. Uh, I can also show its documentation and this now shows me um, how I've defined these. So again, as a quality check, I would expect uh, anyone modeling to fill in all of these. Uh, I'm not going to just to save some time, but you would want to document what everything is. Uh, so we've got our documentation. We've said what it is. Now let, it would be interesting to see what these things are connected to. So um, we can uh, do that with a matrix a little easier. And I also want to do something with use cases. So this was a little bit of everything. Let's go ahead and just do a table of use cases. So I'm going to make another generic table that just has the use cases and so all we're going to put in it is a use case so I set what I want I pointed to the scope I'm going to show the documentation now I'm going to select columns here and I'm going to come in here I want to show my extension points I also want to see um, anything that extends anything that includes and so I add those, and uh, wow, look, I've got the relationships, but I don't have what's at the other end. That's not what I wanted. So it's time to do our first meta chain. So this is, we're going to do a custom column here. I'm going to show you how powerful uh, Magic Draw is. We're going to add a custom column, and we'll call this uh, extended use cases. And we're going to do our meta chain. So this is basically how we follow hops through relationships in the model. So I'm going to go ahead and we're starting with the use case to an extend and the extends target. And so navigate restroom is extended uh, extends uh, traveling doors. Traveling doors does not show uh, the other relationship though, so we can kind of do the reverse of that. Let's go to um, we're going to create a new custom column extended by and we'll go ahead and we'll go with the use case we'll pick the extend relationship and that's going to be the source and so oh. So what happened there is I actually went the wrong way. So what I really need is I need to go to my use case, my extension point, and its extension, which gets me one hop closer. Sometimes this takes a couple hops to get right, so I don't do these all that often. So we now go to the extend. Now we should go to the source there and it should give us what we want. So travel indoors is extended by navigate restroom. So notice it took me a few seconds, but uh, using the meta chains, it's very easy uh, to get both ends of that. We can also do an includes.
So that shows who it includes, and then we can do included by. Sorry, I wanted the custom column. So I've had to switch this a little bit to a different relationship. So I've told it I want to look when I'm the target, up and include, and what's the source. So it took me a few seconds to get that right, but now we should be okay. Yep, and so travel long indoors is included by travel long distances. So um, you know, again, you could use whatever titles you want, but you get the point that using the meta chain allows us to follow relationships a little bit. And I did this just because these would, these columns would not make any sense for the other uh, use cases, uh, or the other uh, the use case elements. Um, although I could show what's associated with them. So let's go ahead and uh, at least look at what's associated. Okay, so it's not available as a base property, so we'll just create a custom one. So we'll add a new custom column associated with... We'll just look at associations, source to target, say OK, and there we go. So this shows us what these are associated with. So that's a really uh, handy feature. Again, uh, showing this to give you a sense that the sky's the limit with Magic Draw, and it's just that easy. The nice thing about this is you can edit the tables live in front of you. You're not stuck fiddling with some sort of definition and having to instantiate it. So uh, you know, even though I was making mistakes there as I went, um, and, and you know, again, I usually don't work with use cases that much. Um, it was pretty trivial to get it fixed and get us what we wanted. We'll do one other thing here. We'll do a um, dependency matrix, which I think is one of the most powerful diagrams as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create a dependency matrix. And again, row element types. We'll go ahead and we'll just drag all the types we have in here for our rows. The row scope and column scope are being set to this package. So we tell it what we want to see, where we look, and what relationships do we want. And let's go ahead and do associations and make those blue. And those really aren't, um, those don't really have ends. So we'll go ahead and we'll get rid of the end arrow. So we'll make those a blue unended line. And let's go ahead and get includes here. And we'll make that, uh, let's make that a, uh, a green arrowhead. And we'll do extends. And we'll make that a uh, orangish colored arrowhead here. And so notice we now have a very nice matrix that shows us all the associations. It shows us uh, which way the includes and extends go. And again, this is a really handy way to see how things all fit together. You know, if you wanted to just see use cases, we could have just picked use cases as the row or column types. And again, this could be asymmetric, so you could have requirements and columns and elements in rows, uh, really powerful matrix. We can also hide, like if we hide columns without relations, we shouldn't get anything. Everybody should be connected to something, right? Uh, if we showed rows without relations, again, this is how we find orphan requirements or other things. Uh, and if I just show things that have relationships, it gives me the, uh, uh, you know, it cannot compact this any further. So since everything has a relationship, but you could, um, you know, judicious use of the show elements lets you uh, get a better feel uh, for your data. And you can hide a lot of things that aren't useful. We also have both directions here, row to column and column to row. I can hide that and that will uh, get rid of uh, some of these as well. So again, there are some appear, some disappear as I, as I switch the scope. But we, if we show both, uh, it, it uh, lets you see the directional. The other important thing about a dependency matrix is if you click in the cell, it highlights the row and column. If we hover, it'll tell us where we're at. And I can right click and I can create a new relationship right there. 
And so I just said that the disabled person and the repairman have a relationship, they're associated, but it doesn't appear here on the use case diagram. But if I take the repairman and I right click on him and say um, display paths, it will show up that missing connector between uh, the two people and now it's there. And so now we have the repairman uh, has the association relationship uh, back and forth with the disabled person. If I delete that uh, and go back to my matrix, it's now gone. So again, this is all live, all synchronized back and forth. Extremely powerful uh, way to, to work and create relationships and see them.